On the edge of the Etzel and Eleanor Ford Estate, a new 40,000 square foot visitor center is taking shape. And one of the unique features is the fitting of a facility with Ford in its name. We're here with Lisa from the Ford House, who can tell us a little bit about what is happening behind us here on this construction site. Sure, the entrance to the building is right over there. Uh, visitors will come in that way and they'll be in a lobby. You see this large opening here, that's gonna be where the staircase goes up to the second floor and the event rental space. This opening over here leads into the education wing. But for me, the most exciting thing are the two exhibit spaces. How does this differ from what you had before? So the previous visitor center, um, its exhibit spaces had to do double duty. It was rental spaces, and then we would sort of put the exhibits in around uh, the needs of um, bringing in groups and meetings and parties and things like that. Uh, and then in the historic buildings, again, it was using a cottage that had bedrooms and a dining room and fitting exhibits into those spaces. For this, we get a blank square uh, that we can fill with anything in any configuration we'd like. And that's really, really important as we're moving forward and bringing in exhibits from outside. So what cars will be displayed here in this exhibit? It's very exciting. This first new exhibit is called Driven by Design, and we'll be featuring three cars from our collection, all of which are one of a kind, and they really showcase Edsel's influence in automotive design. So tell us a little bit about each of the three cars. Sure, the 1932 Speedster uh, and the 1934 Speedster are sort of one-off cars that never went in production, and they were specifically designed for Edsel uh, in collaboration with the Ford designer E.T. Gregory. And then the 1939 Lincoln Continental prototype was the engineering car to put Lincoln Continental into production in 1940 and 41. What are some of the unique features within the exhibit space? We're going to have this really fantastic, uh, it looks like a factory wall with sort of the con window design. We'll be showing a film of the vehicles and uh, historic advertising for Lincoln Continental, um, historic photographs. And then there's also a hands-on area at the back of the exhibit uh, so people can really touch and feel and see uh, all of the elements that go into designing and building a car. And this is going to be the very first exhibit, yes. but I am assuming because of what you're putting into this, there's going to be opportunities to be able to go forward beyond there. What, what are yes. some of the future plans for the exhibit? We don't have specifics right now. The team is working on building out a three to five year plan, uh, but we're talking about exhibits on art and design and nature and the environment and family. Um, so really the possibilities are endless.